Hello everyone. So today let us take a look at this question from Albert on the community and the question is how do I move my task from somewhere to a child and uh, to to basically uh, make them a child of uh, of an epic. Now this is of course a very simple thing to do but again uh, sometimes uh, when you are uh, trying to figure out doing simple things not everything is obvious and that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help you because today I thought I'll probably make this video on doing this and uh, first of all if you're new to Atlassian tools if you are trying to learn Jira, Confluence, Bitbucket, Advanced Roadmaps or maybe if, if you have any doubts please do not hesitate to uh, ask on the community or uh, I have my own service desk if you have a question for me I love uh, to hear from you so you can go to my website and uh, you can uh, raise a ticket for me so you can uh, you know when you're on my on my site you can just click on this contact me and raise a ticket for me i'll try to uh, help you and this way I, I i will of course be able to channelize your request but please try to go on the community and uh, ask a question because if not me someone will definitely respond to you so talking about this question so i will open my jira instance and uh, what i'll do i'll try to show you how it can be done so let us open one of the project. Let us say I have this project called bug tracking and in a project you can of course have multiple issues and you can have uh, your uh, uh, epics if you have epics. So the, the, the question was that you want to, if you want to move your uh, issues uh, in bulk to a specific epic, how, how, how can you do it? So for that particular uh, for, for this particular requirement i will try to open maybe one of my uh let us open the android project because i think that is what i use quite a lot so i do i do have this uh, project where i have a backlog and uh, at the same time i i have uh, this panel here in my board where i can take a look at all the epics so this thing is of course very convenient so a couple of ways of doing it if you're on the backlog view you can simply drag your issues from your uh, backlog uh, or, or maybe from this view for, for, to your uh, epic. So this is something that you can do and uh, this the moment you do it, you will notice that uh, the uh, that I mean, let, let me do, do it one more time for uh, this particular uh, bug. It could be a bug or a story depending upon whether you are doing it uh, in a project where you have uh, uh those issue types so the moment you do it one by one you will notice that the epic is now attached or you can say that the issue is now part of the epic and the way this works i, I will i will talk about how did how, how this work how this association of epics and uh, issues work you can do it manually one by one or you can actually bulk select the issues and then you can drag them um let me just try to do it uh, one more time Okay, so I believe if I press control, I can select multiple of these issues and I can then drag all of them to the epic where I want to um, associate these. Uh, so basically, you can do it in bulk. I mean, that is the whole point. So it is, of course, very simple. But if you open your, uh, if you open your issue, any of your issue, and if you notice, there is a field called as... Uh, uh, let me just open one of the let us say you know test with test without pro one of the one of the uh, field or one of the issue i have in my project and the field that i'm talking about is called as epic link so this association happens using this epic link field so this is a great thing because uh, now you know that you have to basically update this field you can also do it uh, by going to the issue for example if you go to this issue which is uh, you know in your uh, project just scroll down and find that particular field called epic link and then you can associate this uh, epic to your uh, or, or i should say you can move this issue to that particular epic and of course this will appear in the you know not only in the backlog view of your board but also you know the applicable reports one more thing uh, you can also do this uh, using your bulk operations so if you go to your issue navigator uh, so you have to basically go to the search and then go to the issues and then if you want 
to do it do this in bulk what you can do is you can first search for the issues so let us say um, let, let us say we are working on android project so let us select android and maybe you want to do it for some of those issues not really all of them so maybe uh, okay let us try to do it for all of them then of course we'll select them one by one or maybe more than one so you can also do bulk edit so you can do bulk change all 112 issues which is a bit weird because i'm doing it for all the all of them but let us say you have selected maybe multiple issues or maybe you have already defined a filter or you have you're able to narrow those uh queries based on the issues that you want to work on and when you select these issues here you can then uh, go to your next and then uh, you can select the operation called edit issues and now a question for you what do you think should be the field we need to select to modify the epic so i'll give you two seconds okay and uh, while i'm giving you time just think about it and uh, the field is the epic link field so if you scroll down you will definitely notice a field somewhere let me just search i think it will take forever if i have scrolled down okay so the field is uh, this one change epic link and then you can select here uh, let us say whatever let us say an-270 which is i believe in the same project so it should work easily but epics can be in any project by the way so we'll click on the next button and then uh, it will confirm that these issues uh, epic link will be this android app and now if you click on the confirm and if you wait for this to finish those issues epics will be updated for you and this is of course a wonderful thing because uh, not only you can do it from the issue you can do it from the board by dragging them but you can also do it using bulk operations and i thought i'll probably talk about this because uh, if you are working with jira then you might be also using jira for software development and when you're doing software development you need to worry about epics and stories and uh, of course you know managing it from your board is of course one thing but uh, you can also do it from other places and you might also be able to do it using uh, an app or maybe if you're using advanced roadmaps or maybe you're using uh, a specific app that will let you do this up update of epics uh, when you have uh, maybe a lot of those issues to work on so this is something that i thought i'll probably share today because uh, because i think it, it it may seem like a simple thing to do uh, because when we Jira administrators, Jira consultants, people who have been doing these things for a while, I think there are so many things that we know how to do it, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't really mean, it, it doesn't always mean that uh, those things are easy and intuitive for everyone. And that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to share uh, even these simple things so that uh, it, will, it will make your experience, your Jira uh, experience, a bit easier and simpler okay that is all that is all i wanted to talk about i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye